Hello dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. So in our today daily dose session, we'll discuss what are the various factors which can affect the sedimentation process or the settlement of a particle. So you know that guys, uh, we are generally taking the water from the river and in the river, we know that lot of turbulence is there. That means very high velocity of flow is there. Second thing, the particle is in suspension because of very high turbulence and due to that, they are not able to settle down in the riverbed. So guys, we need to resolve this particular problem in our water treatment plant so that we can settle down the sediments, which is basically the suspended solid and ultimately our water get treated, right? So let's understand what are the various factors by which we can have some effect over the sedimentation part and how we can resolve it also, okay? So let's understand guys, this particular part. So the first factor which can affect the sedimentation process is basically the velocity of flow. You know that guys, if very high velocity of flow is there, then ultimately the turbulence in the water will be very high. If turbulence is very high, then ultimately the efficiency of sedimentation will be lesser, right? Now the question is, sir, how I can resolve this particular problem? So let us suppose guys, this is your channel from where water is coming to the sedimentation tank. And let us consider this is our design discharge, which we are trying to, uh, pro, which we are trying to add into the sedimentation tank basically, right? Now let us consider right now we have some velocity of flow. Let us consider V F dash. Okay. Now, right now you can see guys, this particular cross section is trying to pass this particular discharge through it. So let us consider this cross section is A. Now you can see here guys, what is our cross section area? For the sedimentation tank, this is basically AC. And how much it is? Let us consider this length is L, this width is B, and this is basically H. Now the cross-section area which we have is B into H. Now tell me what happened in this particular case. The cross-section area of the channel is lesser as compared to the cross-section area of what? Our sedimentation tank. If suddenly we will increase the cross-section area of the uh, sedimentation tank, then what will happen? ultimately the flow velocity will get reduced, right? Why? Because as per the continuity principle, we can write it down. Vf dash into A is equal to what? Velocity of flow in the sedimentation tank of the water multiplied by cross section area, right? So this is the velocity of flow which is occurring into the sedimentation tank. Now tell me guys, right now this particular cross section area is very high. If it is high, then ultimately the value of Vf will get reduced. And by this particular consideration, we are able to reduce the turbulence in the sedimentation tank so that the sedimentation process have more efficiency, right? So this is the one of the factor which we have to treat and we are able to do it in the treatment plant easily also. The next one is basically the shape and the size of particle. Usually the shape of the particle is spherical in nature. But if we talk about the size of particle, so you know that guys, there is one formula which is given by the Stokes law right 1 by 18 mu bracket g minus 1 into gamma w into d square so can i say that settling velocity of particle is proportional to the dia square that means if you have larger size of particle then the settling velocity of particle will also get increased right so guys can i say that if i change the size of particle or dia of particle then my sedimentation efficiency will also get increased. That means if you increase the dia, settling velocity will increase, efficiency will also get increased. Now the question is how we can do it in our treatment plant. So the process which we have to do to increase the size is coagulation and flocculation. What is coagulation? Just you need to add the coagulant into the water so that it can generate some sticky PPT and over that sticky PPT, the smaller particle is trying to attach. Let us suppose this is your sticky PPT and on this sticky PPT, the smaller particle will attract and ultimately the size of particle will get increased, right? So this is nothing as this is can, this particular process can be done by the coagulation and the flocculation process. And that's why we are able to control the size of particle also in our water treatment plant. So this is also one of the factor by which your sedimentation can affect. The last factor which we have is viscosity of fluid. Viscosity of fluid which is basically our dynamic viscosity. And what is dynamic viscosity? It is resistance to flow. 
right so let us take two example over here guys let us suppose this is honey and this is water now in which case the dynamic viscosity is high can i say that in honey we have dynamic viscosity very high so any particle if it is dropping inside the honey it will settle down very slowly because the flow of this particular honey is you can say that we have more resistance in it right and due to that reason what will happen the sedimentation efficiency will get reduced but let us suppose if we have a water in which dynamic viscosity is lesser and settling velocity uh, settling velocity will be higher as compared to honey as well as the sedimentation efficiency will also be higher so that is the reason guys we can say that the viscosity can also affect the sedimentation process or settlement of a particle now the question is can we control this factor yes you can control the dynamic viscosity by changing the temperature by changing the temperature you are able to control the dynamic viscosity of fluid but the problem is right now we are treating the water which is in very large quantity and that quantity we have to supply to the urban area and in that case it is not possible to change the temperature of such type of quantity of water and that's why guys we will not try to control the temperature in our treatment plant to change the viscosity part so only there are two factor which we have to control but there are three factor which can affect the sedimentation process now i hope all of you are able to understand this particular topic so i think guys we'll come back with some more video which will be helpful in your future as well as for your examination right so thank you so much for joining the session let's meet in the next one